Welcome, everyone. Uh, we've got a really um, great announcement um, to go through today. So I'm joined with Brian, uh, our head of content and one of one of the team here at Enterprise DNA. Hey, Sam. And uh, we've we've looked to reimagine uh, one of the initiatives that we run through our community. And um, historically, we've done something called the Problem of the Week, and we feel like there's more that can be uh, that can be done um, from a uh, education point of view and in a, in a way to collaborate with those who are part of our membership and our COE and you know, generally part of our community. And so we're here to talk today about the Power BI Accelerator. And um, Brian has um, been the one who has led this internally. And <clears throat> it's just a great opportunity for us to announce it and to um, kickstart it uh, with this particular, uh, with this particular uh, recording. Um, so why don't I throw to you, Brian, um, maybe you just give a bit more of an outline around how we got to creating the Power BI Accelerator and how we are going to um, kick, kick start this on our platform. Yeah, thanks, Adam. This, this is something we're really excited about. And it, it kind of came together from a number of different fronts. Um, as you said, we've been doing for about the past six months, we've been doing Problem of the Week. And I think that's been successful in some regards. Um, it certainly had kind of a loyal following. But what we found with Problem of the Week was it was, it was kind of he heavily oriented toward advanced problems. And in some of the analytics we've been doing, we're finding that's, that's not really where our membership is. Um, that a lot of folks are beginning their Power BI journeys relatively early in that, in that, in that road. And Problem of the Week was really kind of a, a stretch beyond most of our members. And so we really wanted to reimagine that and do something that was really focused on people at the beginning of their, their Power BI journey. And so one of the things that um, in talking with folks, I think we've all had the experience of is watching videos is, is great. And it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful way to learn. But it's a passive experience. And I think we've all had the, the experience where we watch a video and in some ways, the better the instructor is, the more common this, this happens, which is you watch the video and you think, okay, that looks easy. You know, I got that. And then you sit down in front of the screen, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. And it's really only until you work through it on your own and you implement the problem yourself that the video and the lessons really click. And so the more we talk to people, the more we found a lot of people have that experience and particularly around DAX, around some of the Power Query concepts, around some of the data modeling concepts. And so what we wanna do is kind of build an, an augmentation to all the video coursework that we've got as a way to actively practice the concepts and reinforce those in a way that's not just throwing a problem set at you, but really giving you access to expert coaching guidance. Um, if you get stuck, there's, there's kind of ways to reach out and linking that with some live teaching sessions um, to really make it interactive, you know, make it an active experience um, rather than just a passive one. So that's, that's kind of the thinking behind the, the initiative. Love it. So, in, uh, in 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 summary, it sounds like we're getting back to basics. We're we're starting off with um, we within the accelerator. It's going to be more easier content um, to grasp for um, beginner and intermediate users, um, and it, it's going to be a collaborative um, environment where we all work on problems. But then we have some uh, live training aspect where we can all go through the solution and work through you know, like a real world scenario um, and become, you know, just more adept at uh, looking at a particular problem or, or dealing with a particular scenario and then solving it with Power BI. It's exactly right. You know, that, that we've, we've always kind of focused on practical business applications and this is going to be no different than that. And we're going to try to really vary it so that it's, it's touching on sales, it's touching on finance, it's touching on HR, it's touching on manufacturing, logistics, kind of a whole bunch of functional contexts. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the plan is really to parallel the ultimate beginner's guide to Power BI and the ultimate beginner's guide to DAX. So mm -hmm. if you're working through those or if you've worked through those in the past, 
we're going to try to link up with kind of sequentially with the lessons in there. Not, not pair them or mirror them exactly, but kind of take them roughly in sequence and take you along a progression um, so that by the end of it, you know, the hope is that everybody will feel comfortable and facile in the four pillars that we talk about, you know, data prep, data modeling, DAX, and visualization. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a, a, a brilliant evolution of um, one of um, the community initiatives, um, you know, the community initiatives that we have, we, we've worked on. And I love the idea of having some live component um, so that those who are coming on, to, uh, coming into our community or are looking to really kickstart their journey um, with understanding sort of our framework around um, how to develop inside of Power BI, they have an opportunity to actually reach out and actually discuss with um, what some of our experts uh, and also with others who are maybe in the same situation, you know, how to actually go about things, how to think about solving things within Power BI. So to me, it sounds like that is a big intention of what we're trying to achieve here is a more collaborative atmosphere in solving or in solving these and, and also just working through solutions. So just having a much better understanding of how you can actually go about solving maybe you know a, a whole range of uh, examples or scenarios that, that you might come across with Power BI and, and, and the data that, that can be utilized with Power BI. Yeah, you know, the, in, the, in the introductory post, you know, one of the things I said is life is an open book test. And, you know, we, we really want to treat this the same way that if you're working on a problem in, in a practical sense, you're going to be able to reach out to other people. You're going to have, you know, the resources of enterprise DNA, the resources of the internet, you know, any, anything available to you to, to help you work through that problem. And so we want to make this a really interactive, collaborative experience, again, to, to mirror what you're going to face in real life. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, well, um, is there anything else that, uh, that we can touch upon um, regarding the Power BI Accelerator? Um, I myself am, am, am personally looking forward to, to really getting involved in, in some of these initial ones and, and, and making sure that the, the, traction is, um, uh, the traction is great throughout our community um, and also that um, we, we are on the right track with, with, with these initiatives and these learning experiences that we're creating. Anything else that we can add? Yeah, you know, one thing, one thing we want to be really careful of is we know everybody's got, you know, constrained time that you've got, you've got work, you've got family, you've got other things. And so we want to make sure this is challenging and, and worthwhile, but not onerous. And so one of the things that we've, we've done, which has been super helpful, even in the first, the first iteration is we've got a, a really good volunteer advisory team. Um, that is working with me in developing the problems. And they're actually working through them in advance. And they're, they're folks who, you know, not, not, not raw beginners by any sense, but, you know, I would, I would say probably would probably classify themselves as low intermediates. And they're working through and giving me really good feedback in terms of how long does the problem take them? What are some of the things they got hung up on? Are there things that weren't clear? And so what we want to try to do is make this interesting and productive, but not take a lot of time. And so, you know, the goal is for even somebody at a relative beginner level, you know, we're hoping that it, it's an hour or less of your time. And we're thinking that that's going to be a really good trade-off in terms of, you know, relatively short amount of time, but hopefully a big amount of payoff in terms of really accelerating your skill level. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, well, from my perspective, thanks for leading us, Brian, and uh, can't, can't wait to really kickstart it. I think this is, a, um, a, as, I, as I've said, a, a brilliant evolution of what we've been doing in the past, but uh, something that's going to add even more value, I think, to all of those who have access to our platform um, and all of those who are, are, are really um, are really bought into our community. So I'm um, looking forward to kickstarting this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Sam. Me too. And uh, we'll put in the, in the uh, description the links below on this video. Um, the link to the, the first week's um, problem. And those are open to everybody. Um, and so really encourage folks to, you know, to take a look and dive in. Brilliant. Okay, well, thanks for, thanks for your time and uh, thanks for explaining it um, to us today, Brian, and, and look forward to seeing how, it, uh, seeing how it goes in some of the initial runs. Me too, thanks, Sam. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular 
tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.